Hello YouTube fans, it's Dusk All Clown. I'm here to review Nobody. Now, I wanted to do this in my room, but since I just got it in my sister's house and um, I wanted to talk about this a few days ago, but I never got the chance to. So I want to do it now before I forget. Because, you know, at home, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 for the Switch is waiting for me at home. So I'm going to spend time doing that, you know. But <laughs> moving on. Um... So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nobody, how come I keep? How come I want to say Mr. Nobody? It's nobody. So, it stars this. Um, what is it? The guy that was in Breaking Bad that played um, Saul, and obviously from the show Better Call Saul. I forgot the actor's name. But in this movie, he's basically, um, you know, he's <laughs> basically it's one of those. Um, it, how do how do I describe how do I describe this movie? Basically. It's a guy that used to be badass, then retired, and then now came back because he, he's mourning that, that, that adventure again in a way, you know? Like, you know, his life is always repeating itself over and over again. You see that at the beginning of the movie and shit. And he's basically, the, he's basically that guy is the last resort, basically, for anyone. Like, if you have a problem... You call him, and he's a, and he's literally the last resort. You call this man, and he will get the job done permanently, you know? He's not to be fucked with. And I that resonated with me so much, you know? Like, it just shows the past life shit, basically. But, um... <laughs> but, um... So what happened was... A, uh, what is it? Two people came to his house and tried to rob shit. And then he didn't do anything, and his son was like, What the fuck, Dad, you know? And then all of a sudden, he tries to find the people that did it. And when he finds out, um, it was literally a woman and her boyfriend, you know, a chicken and a chicken and a dude, obviously. But then when he was about to, he's like, where the fuck is the um, um, kitty cat bracelet? Where's the kitty cat bracelet? Look, because they took his daughter's kitty cat bracelet, which is hilarious. There's some funny moments in this movie, really funny moments. But um, to be honest, I'll say about the acting. The acting is not bad. I thought it was going to be a little cheesy or like, you know, more like, you know, not taking itself too seriously. But it takes itself seriously, which I didn't mind all that much. Um, because sometimes shit like that is serious, you know, like you living a, you think you're living your life over and over again. And you just want something like sparking up. You want something different, you know, you can't blame the man, you know, you can't blame the guy. You know, there's movies like that anyway, so you can't really blame characters like that. That's why we got, that's why we invest into those type of characters. You know? So, when, so after that happened, when he's telling the guy, give me the kid, kid a cat bracelet and shit, literally, let me move over here, but um, literally, <laughs> all you hear is a baby crying in the background. There will be spoilers because um, I don't want to, if you guys haven't watched the movie, I'll I was just spoil it. But anyways, a baby is literally crying in the background, and he looks, and you see the baby crying with, a, with like, a mask on his face because he's, you know, the baby had trouble breathing and stuff, you know, and it, and they're basically trying to steal money from technically wealthy people to support their sick baby and support each other, you know? And when you saw that, you're like, you're like, you understand and everything like that, and he left and everything like that in the movie, and I remember seeing it and telling my friend, like, I would have given him a big speech. I'm like, you came to my house to steal my shit. And I came to your house to bust a cap in your ass. But not knowing you're doing this for your sick child? Like, ugh. Like, you know, you, you gotta... I, I, I don't know. I thought for that scene, to be quite honest. Some people would be like, really? That? Hey, sometimes movies do it for me. Sometimes movies don't. It, it just depends what the situation is or how the atmosphere is, you know? It just did it for me, basically, you know, that part. I'm not saying it's like, oh, gut wrenching or anything, but it, uh, you felt something, you know? So, after that, eventually, go, <laughs> eventually shit starts happening. He goes to a bus stop. I mean, yeah, he goes to a bus stop, takes the bus, and then all of a sudden, these guys come in that are literally jerks and shit and going after a woman, a li like literally almost like a teenager or almost a young adult, you know? She's probably like in her twenties and some her twenty one, you know. And then they're like surrounding her and she's all creeped out by it. And he stands up, grabs <laughs> I think the bus driver lady and tells her to leave the bus. 
And she's like, what are you doing? He closes it. And then he has his gun and shit. And he's standing right in front of the guys. And the guys are like, because he, he, they saw him closing the door. And he has, a, he has shows him the gun, drops the bullets and shit. And he's like, I'm going to fuck you guys up. Or I'm going to fuck you up. Yo, that shit was actually badass. <laughs> that was a badass in the movie. So when that happened... Shit just starts happening. They start. He starts fighting them. The guys that were trying to like, who knows what they were trying to do to that girl in the bus. Um, and it was he was just kicking ass and everything like that. I do like the part where he's getting his ass kicked too because this is like he's he hasn't been doing this for a long long. He hasn't been doing it for quite a while, so he's rusty. You know, he's kind of rusty. So. Obviously, he's going to take a few hits. And I think there was one part where they literally threw him out the fucking window of the bus. He literally came back in. He's like, <laughs> still kick people's ass and shit. Freaking, how many people did he, how many, well, he fucked up. <laughs> he fucked up those whole fucking people, though. He even told the girl to run, you know. And I think she said thank you and, and shit, so. But, yo, he fucked those guys up. Literally, he fucked those guys up. And then when he fucked those guys up, one of the guys that was messing with the girl is in the hospital. And then his brother that goes to the hospital is all like, who did this to my brother? I will avenge him. <laughs> and then someone is like, but you don't care about your brother. Man, fuck you. <laughs> Yo, basically it's kind of like that. Yo, it's, it's funny as fuck, but at the same time you, you, you it moves the plot along but yet you don't mind it because it's it's a movie you know like come on guys like some people want to have fun with movies you know and some people don't like that some people want like fucking oscar bait movies every fucking goddamn time you watch a movie and it's like stop just stop your 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 um your your hypeness of yourself trying to hype a movie stop <laughs> sometimes movies just want to be fun guys you know you might have some truths in it but at the end of the day the movie's trying to have fun you know but um so after that it's basically this whole fucking rampage of this guy trying to avenge his brother for getting his ass kicked for trying to get a for trying to creep up on a girl and have this guy nobody literally doing crazy shit you know going after him and shit and then obviously the main villain he has his people searching up who it is who's this who's the main character right and then everyone's scared the sh everyone's scared shitless everyone is scared shitless they don't want to fucking try to go after him they don't want to even try to fight him or kill him you know like that that shit is awesome that shit resonates with me so much <laughs> you know they're so scared even one woman that was typing in she was like we don't even know what she saw. All, 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 she, all we know is that she got so scared that she literally was like, good luck, I quit. <laughs> and I'm like, what did she see? What did she see? You know, and oh, uh, it's just, it's just badass. It really is. And then by the end, you fucking have Doc Brown in this movie, man. Doc Brown. I thought they were going to kill Doc Brown. But when that, that scene, where Doc Brown was just waiting for the guy to come to like kill him and shit, he goes like, <laughs> yo, yo, man. That shit was badass, yo. You could tell the Doc Braun, um, Doc Braun. <laughs> Doc Braun. You could tell, you could tell he was having fun with that movie, man. You could tell he was having fun. There was a lot of actors that were having fun, you know. You, you, again, you had those cheesy characters in that movie, but they worked with the environment, they worked with the, the atmosphere with the movie, you know. So, I thought that was really cool and stuff. So, I don't know, overall, I thought this movie was good. Nobody, I thought it was good. Badass, the, you know, there were parts that, you know, the, the main villain, once he got to the main character, he's basically like, I'm going to kill you and shit, you know, and the main, and the main character has like a fucking, he has like a, he's holding like a bullet, um, proof, um, plat, I mean, bulletproof, um, window, basically. And he's holding it, and he's running up to the guy while he's about to, what, throw a grenade at him or some shit? He's about to blow him up, but the, he blew himself up and he died or some shit. So, it's been a while since I re-saw the movie, guys, because this was, like, weeks ago since I watched the movie. I just wanted to do a review about it because I haven't done it, and I wanted to get it in my mind, but all this stuff was happening in my life right now. So, there was that. 
So, overall, what I thought about this movie, I thought it was actually pretty fun. I give it a solid, pretty much a solid 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, to be honest. I don't think it's that bad of a movie. It's fun. You know, it is one of those movies that's like a John Wick type of thing. But, you know, if you do it right, you do it right. You know, and this movie did it right. I think I just saw the call. Um, Catherine. <laughs> did I say Catherine or Christine? Christine, that's what it is, Christine. But, um, that's really it, guys. I think nobody is a good time. It's a good time to watch, you know? Um... So that's really it. If you guys seen the movie, don't forget to like. If you guys seen the movie, don't um, tell me what you guys thought about it. You know, what, what's your favorite part of the movie and everything like that? You know, one of my favorite parts of the movie too is um, one of my favorite parts of the movie actually is when um, they're coming to his house and he's li he literally has to put his family in the house. I mean, li literally needs to put his family in the basement because he fucks up everybody that goes in his house and tries to kill him and shit. And then he lets his family out. Burn the fucking house and leaves. Let the bodies fucking burn and shit. Yo, that shit was badass as fuck. All right. I'm I, look. I want to say this before I close the video. This is literally what happens if breaking saw snapped. And when I saw this trailer, I literally told myself, why wouldn't just let this just be a Breaking Bad movie? Like, might as well have it. <laughs> it literally, it screams Breaking Bad the trailer. It seems Breaking Bad the, tra the trailer. And it feels like this will happen to Saul if he just decided to just fuck it. You know? You know? That's just me as a fan of Breaking Bad. I'm not saying, oh, we should put it as a fun, you know? But if I had a collection of Breaking Bad... I definitely would have put this in my collection right next to it. Literally, I'll probably put it at the end of the timeline, right after our Camino. Why not? Why fucking not? I, I think that ends the whole trilogy right there. <laughs> you know? So, that's just me. As a, Again, that's just me as a fan. But if you look at the movie separate as that, it's still a fun, good movie that I still um, recommend you guys watching. So, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you have watched this movie, tell me what you guys think. Do you liked it? Do you hate it? Do you... What stuff did you like or dislike? And did you thought the acting was good? Or did you thought the acting was in? You know? How do you feel about the action scenes? You can't complain about the action scenes. I'm not going to say that. Because I'll say that I'll say this. The action stuff was actually pretty good. I mean, at least when he was punching the main character, basically... When he was punching the man, when he was punching the fucking villains and shit, like, he just felt those punches. And then when the knives, like, go inside, um, inside fucking the opponents and shit in the fucking movie and shit. I'm talking about it like it's a fucking video game. <laughs> but it, it's just so, it's just, I don't know. I just enjoyed it. I really did. I enjoyed it. You know, did, did, am I enjoying it a little bit too much? Probably. Maybe. Maybe. But, you know, that's how much I had fun with it. <laughs> So I'll see you guys.